five days. The final countdown is on. And this, for real, is probably going to be the very last time we're in this store. Yeah, most likely we will not be able to come down here again before it's closed, closed. Last five days. So John is going to run in and see if that um, Star Wars Princess Leia doll is available and see if there's anything else. And since it's a nice day and I don't have to work today, we're thinking of maybe taking a quick drive to New Hampshire and maybe seeing the condition of some other Toys R Us's, or at least one. And by the time you're watching this vlog, Toys R Us's are long gone. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of sad, but it's also kind of a relief because we're kind of sick of watching. <laughs> Toys R Us, like the decline of Toys R Us. <laughs> and after editing all these videos, I feel like it's a broken record of, it's so sad that it's closing and the, it's kind of like, okay, let's just put it out of its misery and move on. But I do think, you know, like in, you know, yeah, three years, yeah. five years. We'll be happy that we have this. Yeah, that this is like a time caps. So pretty much the yeah. only thing that we want to check out is that Princess Leia doll. Mm. Unless they've added something else, but I kind of doubt it. I think what we saw last time is pretty much less of what we saw last time. So I'm going to pop in there real quick. Um, it's very crowded here. You know, summer vacation started. And this parking lot is packed, so I don't even know how much footage I'll be able to get. But I kind of suspect it's going to be more of the same. So let's go in. This intro's gone on long enough. But we'll try to hit some other places up today, too. Sound good, guys? Sounds good. Sounds good. There is, like, nothing left in here and they no longer accept cash debit or checks it's just credit cards only they still got plenty of these but they still only seem to be 50% off there's tons of them though yeah. all this is totally empty now can't get through here Okay, I'm back out in the car. That's rough. I'd say a good 80% of the store is like all, you know, Taped roped off. off. Yeah. And you know, the end is so close that so you get that punch in the gut <laughs> feeling walking through there. It's like, oh man, but I did make the final purchase. I did get the Princess Leia doll. Even though the sign on the shelf still said $24.99, she rang up for $15. So this is possibly the yeah, final I don't ever purchase. To now, originally they said that. Wednesday the 27th is going to be the last day, but they're going to be open until Friday the 29th, but I can't imagine there's going to be much in there by Friday. She comes with a doll stand. Oh, nice. So I could take her out if I wanted to and use her. I don't think we're going to take her out of the box, though. No. I think she's going to stay right there. Over at the main mall, are they tearing down the Sears sign? I don't know, I can't see from I can't here. really tell. When we, I wanted to get the camera out so we could see. Like, I don't think that Sears went out of business, but it looks like the lettering might be being torn off. I can't tell with all the plants and stuff in the way. Let's find out. What are they doing? Yeah, they're tearing the Sears sign off the side of the building. Did it close? Did Sears close? No, it looks like they're putting up a new sign. Yeah, oh, new style. Yeah, there's like a new R going up. That's kind of weird to start with an R, but... <laughs> that yeah, I was like, did that Sears go out of business? And I, and... <laughs> like, how did we miss that? <laughs> a lot of Sears's, 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 Sears's are closing though, right? Yeah, a lot of them so... are. It wouldn't have surprised me, but that would have been like super sudden. It's kind of weird that they're putting up a new style sign when it's not going to be around. <laughs> maybe they're pretty confident, you know, we've closed like 800 Sears stores. And maybe. Maybe it's the logo that's driving people away. Maybe. It's too <laughs> retro. <laughs> We're taking an unplanned trip across state lines just as Tegan. Tegan, can you show us your coloring? Oh, did you close it? I wanted to see your bell. Oh, there's the diamonds. Well, if you bring the bell back up, let me know. We're about to cross the bridge into New Hampshire. Yeah. Here we go, across the big bridge. So we may pop into 
the New Hampshire Toys R Us, and I don't know where else we'll go. It's still pretty early. I know we want to stop for lunch. Yeah. My we'll tummy's are rumbling. <laughs> There's a call back. You want me to pull up a new one for you? Yeah. So earlier in June, like it, it caused quite the stir on social media that IHOP, the International House of Pancakes, was changing their name to IHOB and nobody knew what the B stood for. And it turned out the B stood for? Burgers. Because when you think of a pancake house, you think <laughs> of burgers. Well, that's what they want you to think. So you come in like later in the day. Yeah, for they, not just breakfast. They kind of want to expand their customer base. Mm -hmm. So, but even though it turned out they're not really changing their name on the sign to IHOB, that was just a social media thing. Mm -hmm. They are, they do have burgers at all their locations now. And since we haven't had lunch yet, I think I'm going to try an IHOB burger today. I'm sticking with breakfast because breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. Breakfast is the bee that Ben yes. prefers <laughs> in IHOB. Yes. I want breakfast too. <laughs> and so every time we go to like Denny's or IHOP, I get breakfast because you can't get breakfast in anywhere else. So we're going to go over to IHOP and then across the way <laughs> here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, see if their Toys R Us are still standing, see if there's mm -hmm. anything left in there. I don't see any signs on the window for the burgers. Oh, there it is. It's behind that plant. <laughs> So Ben, you're not even tempted to try an IHOB <laughs> burger. Here are all the different ones. Wait, holy, look at the mega monster. Okay guys, I'm gonna try the big brunch burger. There's what the burger looks like. It has an egg, it has bacon, it has cheese, it has hash brown. I thought there was another burger patty at first, but that's hash brown. And there's some sauce on there too. I'm gonna cut it up a little bit so Ben can have a bite too. Okay, here is my review of the IHOB Big Breakfast Brunch Burger. It was pretty good. I was a little disappointed how chewy the bacon was. I would have preferred crispier bacon. Yeah, I don't like, we don't like chewy bacon. And also be forewarned that the yolk of the egg is very runny, so it's right. a very messy burger. I cut it into four so Ben could have a quarter of it. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was like very, very messy. And also, um, you know, it was really good. No complaints about the burger itself. I couldn't really taste the sauce on it. There was like an onion type flavor, but I think that was coming from the hash browns. Yeah, I all I could really taste was the egg and the onion. I mean, it didn't taste bad. It was good. I liked it. But the primary flavors that I tasted were egg and onion. Yeah, I saw the sauce on it, but I didn't really taste any sauce. Okay, here we are. Going from IHOB to another closing TRU. This one says final four days in the window. So let's see what's left. Another very crowded parking lot. So let's see if there's anything left in here. First thing we see when we come in here are all these glimmies, but it is extremely empty in here, just like the South Portland store. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to turn around or back up. I didn't know we were we were locked out of this area. Okay, let's turn around. Let's see what else we can find. It was craziness in there, wasn't it, Tegan? Yeah, and, and every shelf locked and locked. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, every toy locked out of him too. Yeah, all every, the toys locked on him too. Yeah, all the toys are off the shelves. And just like South Portland, pretty much the entire store was like roped off with that caution tape. And like, so all these people yeah, and, and, were like consolidated in the front of the yeah, store. And, and, some, and some toys blocking a line. Yeah, there were toys like stacked up so you wouldn't go any further. Ben found some stuff. Ben did find a little bit of stuff. We spent a whopping $5 even. <laughs> We found a lone Sheriff Callie blind bag. I couldn't tell if it was Sheriff Callie or Dirty Dan, the uh, the limited the edition. The limited edition. So I want to open that up and find out. And we got Twilight and Spike, the little cute plushy clip-ons. 
It was Sheriff Kelly. I had a feeling it was gonna wah, be her. Wah, wah. I've been found two phone cases. This one with like a panda bear and a grizzly bear toasting marshmallows. That lights up. That lights up? Yeah, look. I don't know if you can tell in the car. Can you see it? You'll have to demonstrate yeah. later. And the fire this? lights up. And it looks like you got this Easter bunny. Yeah. Tegan <laughs> wants me to put the bunny on my phone, so. So all of this all together came to five dollars even since we're in New Hampshire there's no sales tax. Yeah. So, so I'd say that was a pretty good bargain. Put my bunny on. So another final Toys R Us receipt in the bag. <laughs> so since this is it, the last day ever, I think it's a world record for us. <laughs> Three Toys R Uses in one day. It's taken a lot of driving. <laughs> so we've hit the one in South Portland, Maine one in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and now we're here in Manchester, New Hampshire for one last Toys R Us. It's been, this, it's probably the last Toys R Us yeah. ever. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So here it is, guys. It's the last three days for this one. Oh my god, we're going down in, in the... Wow. Yeah, this one says last three days, Portsmouth was last four days, and Portland was last five days. People are going to think we uh, stitched these all together, but really, this has all been one afternoon. <laughs> Have we been traveling through time? I don't know, maybe. It feels like it sometimes when we're driving all this distance. So, let's go in. I'm sure it's going to be a madhouse. I'm sure 90% of the store is going to be roped off. But let's go in, say our final goodbye, see if there's a final purchase besides the Easter Bunny phone case that I love. <laughs> Tegan, Tegan. Okay, looks like we have the Toys R Us uh, liquidation sale checklist. We got the Glimmies, we got Charm You, DC Supergirls. There's a little bit more of this store open than I was expecting. Found Tegan a pair of shoes and a couple more plush ponies. Let's see what's over here. Lots of pie face. A, a lot. lot of pie face here. Some Hanazuki up there. Look, look, I found. We found a Skylander. Skylander. No Skylander together. No Skylander. Skylanders are like 39 cents a piece now. <laughs> No, it's the same two we already found. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow, when's the last time you saw a Zubal in the wild? Oh my where, god. Where did they find these? That was like before we started YouTube, wasn't it? Yep. A Zuber. A Zuber? No, a Zubal. Yeah. yeah, that was before YouTube for us. Yeah. That's before you were born. Yeah. I've never seen one of these for sale before, but for $80 you can get the Disney Marvel DVD display case. Here's like a gift card display. And over here you can get the merchandise pickup sign for $10. Everything's for sale here. <laughs> we're currently in an area I don't feel like we are supposed to, oh, we're behind the... Uh, Oh yeah, I don't think we're supposed to be back here. I just want that Disney placard right there. <laughs> Tegan, what are you hiding from? I got some of that block tape. Yeah. That didn't really seem to work all that great. No. Oh, another Hanazuki. Do we have this one? Probably. We have them all. Is there anything down here? Is there anything down 
This aisle, this is all roped off. There's a little bit down here. I'll just go check this out. Little mix of everything over here. So Ben, on a scale to one to ten, how depressing is this? <laughs> you can tell that things that have been down forever are being torn up. Right. Okay, what did you want to show me, buddy? Whoa, that's funny. Yeah. Oh, and it's, it's, oh, it's going down mommy's arm. <laughs> Okay, if you thought Zoobles were oh, wow. outdated. <laughs> Here's a Panini Spider-Man 2 sticker album set. <laughs> Mom was here a second ago, now it's that guy. <laughs> so we're gonna check out this uh, Cabbage Patch play set and I think we got a couple ponies in there. Hi. So we found a couple things. For $9, we got this Cabbage Patch Kids play set. We got Fluttershy and Rarity, the little um, little plushies, and we got Tegan a pair of shoes. So at some point, <laughs> during our Toys R Us final shopping spree in there, Tegan found this goofy little emoji plush clip-on that he took a liking to. Yeah, and you can put it on your pants. <laughs> so it's like, oh, why not? You know, it's probably only going to be, you know, a few cents or a dollar. Because the pony clip-ons were only a dollar fifty, and we never thought to put it under one of the price scanners. So we check out, and the grand total, you know, was twenty-three oh nine. It's like oh, that's not that bad, but still a little more than I was expecting. Tegan managed to find the only thing in the store that wasn't marked down at all. This guy rang up for five dollars and ninety-nine cents. <laughs> no discounts whatsoever, and all sales are final. So. <laughs> We I'm stuck we are with we, that guy forever. We are we are the only people who managed to find something that caused full price during Toys R Us's final three days. <laughs> but you know, there you go, Tegan. There, there's your emoji that you'll forget about by the time we get home. Well, we're pulling into the Merrimack Premium Outlet. Gonna pop into the Disney Outlet store because why not? We're in the neighborhood. <laughs> been a very ambitious day. I, I didn't wake I, I didn't wake up today figuring we go to the arcade and <laughs> all these Toys R Us's and now the outlets. Gotta cram everything uh, into one day while we can, right? That's right. Well, we're gonna get all the way up there. How are we gonna get all the way up there? The building. <laughs> the building. Tegan's riding in style to the Disney outlet. Usually he's asleep by this point in our New Hampshire trips, I but know. But not today, so. I don't and, usually get to go in. I know, usually you guys have to wait in the car. I know, it's exciting. Okay, here we go, guys. Hey, everybody in. All sorts of incredible stuff, including that Jack Jack that we opened. So those infinity style figures. Oh, look at this Baymax swimsuit. I like that one. That'd be good for beach days. How much are we? $7.99, that's not bad. Does it come with shorts or is it just a shirt? It's just a shirt. Well, I don't know. There's shorts back here. Oh. Maybe they go together. <laughs> I guess that's a no-go. So we're getting the uh, we're getting the Baymax uh, yes. shirt and short he combo. He said it would be perfect for him to swim in. And I noticed over here they have a Baymax coffee mug. Oh, they also have the Wally. Like, It's like a little Baymax suitcase. Yeah, perfect, perfect stuff in the Look at all these cute little Chippendales and raincoats. Oh, these little guys, the mini... The mini Uffuffies. Uffuffies are $3 a set. There's Chippendale, the bunnies, Mickey and Minnie, Pooh and Piglet, Dumbo. These little furry tail friends are cute. There's the Aristocat family and Lady and the Tramp. the luggage. Oh yeah, there's a little suitcase up there too. Okay guys, we decided to do it. <laughs> we were at the Disney outlet and I Ben brought up that, you know, we're only 20 minutes away from I the Nashua Toys R Us. I did a whale, I did a whale. Oh nice. Even coloring on the tablet. 
So here we are at the Nashua, New Hampshire Toys R Us, the fourth Toys R Us. Okay, and this one for real is gonna be the last one ever, right Ben? Yeah. I don't think we're gonna go into Massachusetts tonight. No, we're not going any further. <laughs> this is it. This is the absolute last one. I don't know if my heart can take any more of these uh, almost abandoned Toys R Uses. So we'll peek in here. I'm sure it's gonna be like Glimmies and 39 cent Skylanders and half the store is blocked off, but I, uh, we just had to do it, didn't we, Ben? We had to do it. <laughs> okay, I don't believe this. Look, the sign on this one says the last two days. <laughs> People are really gonna think we did this over the course of a week. But really, this has all been in the same day, guys. Last two days for the one in Nashua, New Hampshire. There is nothing left in here. Everything that left is uh, crammed into these two aisles up front of the store. Squinky stickers. And the rest of the store just looks like this, nothing. So Ben and Tegan didn't go into that one, it was just me. I got a little bit of footage as you saw, but Ben, pretty much everything that's left in that store is like right up front. Oh really? Like in the first couple of aisles, and mm -hmm. then that's it. And it's all the usual suspects, Glimmies, Disney Infinity, Skylanders, Yokai Watch, you know, and then just randomness, like, scattered randomness <laughs> and then like basically everything and anything they could have dug out from out back you know telephones and clipboards and uh, surge protectors and and that's it that's it that's how they're all gonna look here soon if not already I mean by the time you see this Toys R Us is a thing of the past so four Toys R Us's this is a new bin story bin record in one day it was now or never it's gonna be the only record because we're not gonna we're do it. We're not gonna again. be able to do it again. <laughs> unless we take a mega road trip to Canada, I guess. Right. So goodbye, Toys R Us. For real. Uh, Alright, let's let's end this on a happier note. Let's head home. What do you think what do you say, Tegan? Is it time to go home? Been a long day. That's all for today. Oh man.